You want me to go ahead and check that color now? Yeah. Okay. We're going to check <clears throat> the phosphorus. So we have three colors here for low, medium, and high. And when I hold my sample up, you can see that it's really medium. It's I mean high, low. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me talk that. You can see that it's low. It's not high. And so that's another thing that we need to probably amend our soil with. So we bought compost for nothing? Well, um, <laughs> compost typically is not like a fertilizer. It's simply um, re remains of manure and grass and, and uh, leaves and household vegetable scraps. Uh, that have been put through a process to break them down, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're that um, it's they're high in any of the components that you need to grow oh, okay. uh, vegetables or any any plants. So now this is the last test that we have to do, and this one is for the potassium, and it says fill the to the top line again. Um, with the clear solution uh, <laughs> in the paper cup. Well, it's not real clear because um, apparently there was some stuff that wanted to float, and so we'll do it this way. If I put a screen over my opening, I guess that would have done better. Okay, now. Um, the next step is to add one potassium test. That's that guy right here. Okay. Again, there's nothing wrong with touching the uh, tablets, but it's just... In Mama's Kitchen Soil Test Lab, we try to encourage people to be safe, too. <laughs> and so... This is going to be a difficult one to get out. It's breaking up into little pill pieces, so seems to be all of it. All right, now what it says is to uh, mix until the tablet dis uh, disintegrates, and this one is going to be. Um, shades of gray. And <laughs> Fortunately, the tubes are clear so I can see them. <laughs> Stubborn little stuff. Fortunately, this one, after we get it to disintegrate, we don't have to wait any time on it. Mm -hmm. This is going to be strange. Shake it up just a little more, it's going to make much difference. Looks like it's going to be very high. This, here we have a. Let's get it on the, on the light color here. Is this supposed to be on the light color or the dark color? Well, if you have it on the dark color, you can't compare it very well. So I put it side by side. You could. Do it this way, I suppose. I think that's the but way. Seems to be intended. It's still it's still high. high. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what I do, it's still high. <laughs> okay, so now to kind of recapitulate. There was our initial pH testing, which showed us having low. 
But we were in the, kind of in the middle, weren't we, on the pH? We were at a 7. That's pretty much a 7. This, uh, on the scale, is considered to be low in nitrogen. It's that really yellow color. Yeah. This is the uh, phosphorus. And that might be a little different for some reason. It's staying at the bottom. Okay, so that's probably between low and medium. It's, I don't think it's really high. No, it looks pretty. Yeah, it looks pretty medium to me. Yeah. <laughs> and if you have difficulty distinguishing colors, I suggest you get somebody to help you with this. And this one was very, very high. Okay. Now, in my particular kit, it doesn't leave you there. Because if you turn back a few pages, it will tell you if the level is low, you should add um, 0 0.09, 0 .09 um, pounds per square foot to increase your um, nitrogen level to where it should be also gives you per acre, but I'm sure you're not doing this for acre, do this. Um, phosphorus was low, and here they're suggesting that we put 0 0.02 pounds per square foot. And since our, our growing beds are square, are measured that they're eight, uh, 4 by 8, um, that gives us the square footage, and, and uh, we can judge it by that. Um, phosphorus. You already did that? Yeah. What's that? Potassium. Potassium at, at, uh, at low, um, we don't really, I mean... No, we're, we're high on potassium. We're, we're really high, so I don't think we need to, to add any at this point per square foot. And uh, it, it, the, read the book before you do anything, because <laughs> it really does help. I know there's a lot of people who don't like to read rules, but it really helps. Okay, so now we've finished our actual testing, and we can now go for um, figuring out how much of each element we need to add. Now, as I was saying before, and Mother Gail can get a close-up shot of this, but you see the numbers up here, 431, that's the amount of nitrogen. This is the amount of phosphorus, and this is the amount of uh, potassium. And you al may also see this written as NPK, and K is the, the uh, scientific part of the scientific uh, name for uh, potassium. And we're trying to use all natural um, fertilizers. And they will be lower than if you buy commercial fertilizers. Does that make them gentler? Uh, it makes them not only gentler, but it's better for the soil because you're adding to the soil, not pushing the soil to produce something. Uh, oh. Nitrogen will give you a lot of green growth. And if you have vegetables, you don't want to really push the nitrogen real hard. You want to keep it sort of in the mid-range to 